Hello everyone, welcome to or back to the channel. My name is Hunter Hauk and today's video is a very exciting one because it's time to move Briar, my plane's hog nose, into her enclosure that I built in a recent video. It's a 36 by 18 by 18 fully bioactive exoterra and I am so, so excited. So in today's video, let's move her in. Now before we get to that, I have an exciting announcement. As of today, the day this video is going up, my new merch collection is available. This is the River the Bearded Dragon design, and I am super excited to share it with you all. It's available in hoodies, um, t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, bags, and stickers, and I think you're all gonna love it. So definitely go ahead to shop.hunterhawk.com to get that. That's my small business that I put my heart and soul into, and I really hope that you love it as much as I do. If bearded dragons aren't your thing for some reason, I also have a leopard gecko and white street frog design, and today we also launched the 2022 Reptiles Unfiltered Reptile Calendar. This is super exciting as well. It has different reptiles and amphibians every month, and of course there's no filters, and it's for 2022, and it's awesome as well and super exciting. A couple people have already pre-ordered it because they asked me about it, but you can all go pre-order it now for a limited time until we run out of the stock that we have on hand. You can get it a couple bucks off for pre-ordering. So head to shop.hunterhawk.com to get the Reptiles Unfiltered 2022 calendar and the River the Bearded Dragon design. I really appreciate all your support and that helps me keep making these videos. Now without further ado, let's move Briar into this enclosure. Now since we last saw the enclosure, there have been a couple of changes made. First, I added springtails because I forgot to in the last video and then I remembered a couple days later, I'm like, oh, I have springtails that I need to put in. And then now we have heating. So that is right up on top and I've been measuring it the last few days just to make sure that it stays at 90 degrees so she can go bask on that slate or go away from the heat on the other side. All the plants are settling in well. All the isopods are settling in well. I haven't seen the springtails, but I'm assuming they are too. And I'm just so, so excited. So without further ado, let's go get her and move her in. Okay, I am so excited to put her in here. I just went down and got her. And of course I had to bring her up in a River the Bearded Dragon mug because gotta celebrate the new merch launch. Now if I could just get her out, she is chilling in here. Um, as you can see, She's a tiny, tiny little hog nose, but she has been getting bigger, and I am very confident that she will be able to use and benefit from all of this space. I'm super excited to put her in here, and let's watch her go in and see what she does and explores first. I want to say a huge thank you to the Bio Dude once again for sponsoring this entire enclosure project. As you can see, they sent me all of this super awesome stuff to make this enclosure possible, and I really appreciate it. Be sure to go to the link in my description and get $10 off of your first purchase at the Bio Dude. Thanks again to the Bio Dude, I really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, Briar, are you ready to go into your enclosure? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm gonna put her in here first. And I've been measuring this several times a day, every day for the last several days, but I'm paranoid so I wanna make sure. Okay, yeah, that's a good temperature for her. And actually, I'm gonna move this down here, at least for a little bit so that she can get up easier until she kind of figures out that that is her warm spot. Just does another climbing spot to get up there. Briar, are you ready? She doesn't want to get off my hand. It's time to go. It's your new home. Oh, she's trying to bite my finger. There we go, let's not bite my finger, please. Perfect. Yeah, it's like a good 90 degrees right where she's basking, which is exactly what I want. So this is perfect So I'm gonna give you a little tour so back there 
That is a little hide that she can go into, of course, if she wants. And now she's gone. She clearly figured that out pretty quickly, but I can also access it back there. And it has a ton of sphagnum moss kind of stuffed into there. That way she can hide kind of whenever she pleases back there while also getting warm and getting some humidity. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, you definitely should, but all of this is products from the bio dude. Anyways, so this cork background she can climb on. I don't know how much she'll utilize it, it's mainly just aesthetic, but I hope she does use it some and enjoy it. And then we just have some succulents. She has this piece of ghost wood that she can climb up and kind of do whatever she wants on. And then over here she has her... She just has some rocks. And this is the Biodude's Terra Sahara um, with some sphagnum moss and leaf litter mixed in. And as she works it into the soil more, I'll add additional sphagnum moss and leaf litter. The lighting, it's a heat lamp, I think Zoomed or something. And then one of the Biodude's own lights, which I'll put the name of on the screen because I'm bad with product names and I don't want to say the wrong one. This is an aloe plant, I do know that. That is a maybe Cryptanthus Earth Star, I want to say, is what people were telling me. But I can't remember for sure. And then, of course, her water bowl. Some super cool plants. I love all of these. And just plenty of places for her to explore and interact. Okay, Briar had her chance to check out that area for quite some time, so now I'm going to set her over here in her cool area. I'm gonna like show her the water bowl so that she knows where it is. Stay in there. There we go. Oops, stay in your enclosure. You have this whole enclosure but you wanna come out? Here, let's get back away from the door. Come here, oh, she's like in her water dish. Come on, sweetie. Let's try like right there. She's spotted a nisopod. Okay, I'm gonna let her be. All right, wow. She seems to be absolutely loving her new enclosure and that makes me so happy to see. She is still right back there, but she's doing lots of exploring when I'm not watching. So I can't wait to see what she does when she's settled in while I am watching. I think it's gonna be awesome and she is really benefiting from all this extra space. Don't forget to go check out the 2022 Reptiles Unfiltered calendar and get the new River Merch design at Shop Hunter Hauk. That's the top link in the description. I really appreciate all of your support and it helps me keep making these videos. And of course, thank you to the Bio Dude for sending me all of this awesome stuff to make this enclosure. Definitely go check out the video where I made this enclosure because we talk all about it and I show you all the steps and it is really awesome and helpful, I think. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any suggestions you have or tell me about your personal snake enclosures. I love discussing your enclosures and my enclosures and enclosures in general with you all down in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching. My name is Hunter Hauk. That is Briar the Plains Hognas and I will see you in the next video.